Dear Ursula, dear Justin, Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, in recent weeks and months, we have been witnessing acts of unspeakable cruelty. Our belief in humanity is constantly under attack. Russia is not only waging a war of aggression against the Ukrainian state, it is using indiscriminate violence against the peaceful population. And now we know that to make the war crimes stop, Russia must be stopped. On the other hand, we are also witnessing acts of extreme generosity. Countless people across the world have opened their hearts and homes and bank accounts for the benefit of the Ukrainian people. Private initiative is showing the way for many governments to follow. The Lithuanian people are already doing a lot to support the people fleeing the war. There are many initiatives, volunteering, schemes of private transportation and private accommodation, private food donations and humanitarian support intended to help Ukrainians. Of more than 40,000 Ukrainian refugees who have reached Lithuania, the vast majority are living with the host families. The Lithuanian authorities, both the central government and municipalities, are also working hard to provide Ukraine with the most precise assistance. First of all, that means military aid. Second, it also means vital humanitarian aid. As of this day, my country has donated 14 million euros, which includes both humanitarian assistance in kind and financial assistance. Lithuania is also preparing to send to Ukraine two medical teams with a dozen medics in each. A significant part of the refugees reaching Lithuania are unaccompanied minors and vulnerable persons. So far, we have transported from Ukraine and accommodated 283 children from Kiera institutions and 730 unsupervised minors. Our government has also allocated 4 million euros to cover the education expenses of Ukrainian children and youth. As of this day, more than 4,000 Ukrainian school children have enrolled in Lithuanian schools, and this number is growing. Recognizing the current difficulties experienced by the countries with the largest inflows of refugees, Lithuania has also decided to help Moldova both with humanitarian assistance and relocation. Furthermore, my country is ready to participate in the Ukraine uh, Solidarity Fund and other future multilateral efforts to help Ukraine. Today, I call on every country of the free world and all their citizens to join forces. We must all act united to stop the war. We must save and protect the innocents whose lives are being destroyed by this brutal aggression. Our moral duty is to help Ukrainian refugees by all means possible.